In this video I'm going to talk about the Arnoldi iteration. The Arnoldi iteration was invented by W. E. Arnoldi in 1951. The Arnoldi iteration is used to find the eigenvalues of any general matrix A. From your differential equations or linear algebra course, you know that to find the eigenvalues of A, you can form the characteristic polynomial and then find the roots of this polynomial as the eigenvalues of A. However, this method is not so suitable for finding the eigenvalues of large sparse matrices. So, to find the eigenvalues of large sparse matrices, one method is to use the power iteration. The power iteration works as follows. You start with the matrix A, you multiply it by an arbitrary vector B, giving you a vector. You then multiply this vector again by matrix A, giving you A squared B. You again multiply this by A on the front, and you get A cubed B. And you continue the procedure until you get A and B and A and B will converge to the largest eigenvector of the matrix A. This method, however, is unstable. And so, we need to make it more stable. And we can do this by ensuring that each of these uh, vectors is orthogonal to all the previous vectors. This is known as the Arnoldi iteration. How do we ensure that the each vector is orthogonal to all the previous vectors? We use a procedure called Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization. The Gram-Schmidt procedure ensures us that as we proceed we have orthogonal vectors. So now let's go ahead and apply the Gram-Schmidt procedure to the power iteration and that will be the Arnoldi iteration. So the way to start this is to start with some arbitrary vector Q Q1 which has a norm of 1 so that we can have orthonormal basis. Then we repeat for QK through QN. We take QK, so for uh, say for Q2, as equal to the next power iterate, which would be A times Q1, or QK minus 1. Then, to orthogonalize this, we would want to find for all j between 1 and k minus 1, since we want to make it orthogonal to all the vectors before k. We would find, then, the vector known as h, j k minus 1, and we would set this equal to q j transpose q k. This is the scalar that defines the length of the projection onto the vector j, and then we would want to make qk equal to qk minus we would want to subtract this length in the direction of j so we would have qj transpose qk qj I'm sorry h j k 
minus 1. And then we can normalize this QK. So we end the loop here. And set H of K comma K minus 1 equal to the norm of QK. And finally we can scale QK to be normal by taking QK is equal to QK divided by the no HK comma K minus 1. And that is the Arnoldi iteration.